All right, so this is going to be a quick video. I'm going to show how to open up and disassemble this Dell XPS 13 9370. All right, the customer brought in another one and it was dead. So we're going to swap over the SSD. We're going to use a T5 or Torx 5 screwdriver to remove the screws from the bottom. All right, you want to keep them in order because they can be different size, shape, and lengths. The way I do that, I put them flat side down like that. On my desk in the pattern, I remove them. So basically, we have this U shape. Okay, so let's go ahead and just remove all these screws and just put them in that pattern. So three, three, and then two in the center. So basically a U shape. All right, if this video helps you out, make sure to like, subscribe, share my channel with others so that they can learn how to upgrade and repair their devices as well. And if it helped you save a bunch of, mon uh, of money, uh, please consider contributing a little to the channel. Every little bit helps and allows me to continue making these videos for a living. All right, anyways, let's continue getting all these screws out. It helps to have fingernails. You can use plastic pry tools and possibly a suction cup to do this. So we're gonna attempt with a suction cup first. All right, so we got all those screws out. Let's go ahead and try the suction cup here. I'm gonna grab that. I'm holding it down at the little gap in here. There's a, sorry, there's a gap between the uh, colored part of the shell and the white part. Okay, so I'm gonna hold that and then we're gonna pull up on this. Um, that didn't really work well, so we're gonna just use fingernails all the way okay so what I'm gonna do I get my fingernails in the gap there I push with my thumbs here and I pull and here you can see it's popping out relatively easily um, there are a few clips holding it um, let me actually move this cover out of the way because it's sliding all over the place and let's go ahead and get this out okay so just go along again I just use my fingernails and push with my thumb all right now that we've gone all the way around the front we're gonna rotate it and go around the side just like this okay just like this going up the side pushing with my thumb stuck a little bit here so there we go all right and you can see I might have to wiggle that a little bit there we go came off relatively easily there's a little some thermal pads here to help pull heat away from this area not sure why but um yeah all right we're gonna remove the SSD using a PH1 or JS1 screwdriver. Sorry about that, I dropped my suction cup on the ground. All right, so we're gonna remove this one screw here. Undo that. All right, using a PH1 or JS1 screwdriver. All right, let me give you a close up. Now we got that, we can lift this up. There's a thermal pad, so you wanna slowly, carefully lift it up and then slide this back. You see this part slides here, okay? And here's the thermal pad on the other side. All right, now that we've got that, we're gonna take the SSD out. It is a PCIe NVMe. Just get underneath it. There's a thermal pad under there as well, so it sticks a little. Slowly, carefully pull it up. All right, once you got that, you can go ahead and wiggle this to pull it back. The thermal pad is sticking to it, so wanna be careful, make sure it stays down there. There we go, so we got the SSD out. We're gonna set that aside, and we're gonna put back the SSD from their old one. All right, and hopefully it'll just boot up just fine. This is a M.2 PCIe NVMe SSD, if I didn't already mention that. Okay, there we go. Then we'll get this, slide this in. Um, we're putting it at an angle, of course. Then we can slowly drop it into place, get that all lined up, and we'll just get this screw back in. All right, and that's pretty much it as far as that goes. Um, there's the battery here. Let me show you all the random components inside um, so you can kind of get a better idea of what's going on in this computer. We'll set this aside here. Okay, let's actually zoom in a bit there. Okay, I don't know why this got all smudgy with some stuff. Battery connector comes out just like this. You kind of just wiggle it with your fingernails at the um, wings of that connector. I'm not gonna pull it out, but that's how you would remove it. Battery model is here, DX. GH8, all right, DXGH8. Um, and then there's a few screws holding it in place. There's one here, one here, and one up here, and then one over here. After you remove all the screws and the connector, you should be able to pop it out. Actually, there's also one more screw here. You will have to use a PH0 or JAS0 screw for this. The other ones use PH1 or JAS1. There's a CMOS BIOS RTC real-time clock battery here. Same thing, you can pull that out. Um, again, I'm not gonna pull everything out. Fan connector here, another fan connector here. So two fan connectors, screws holding it in place. This goes into the screen and this one LCD LVDS connector. This one's most likely for the um, camera and um, possibly microphones and things like that. 
All right, you got a little connector here for the headphone jack, which you can pop out flipping it up like that. I'm not gonna mess with this because this is a new computer. Wireless card is soldered to the motherboard, but you can disconnect the antennas underneath this metal plate. Um, looks like speaker connectors here. This is for both speakers, one speaker here, and then the wire goes underneath the battery here, connects up here and plugs over there. Okay, and CPU is soldered to the motherboard. Um, and then there's something under here, but I don't want to peel that up again because it's a new computer and they just wanted to swap that over. Then you got one connector here and one connector here. I'm assuming this is for like the touchpad trackpad, possibly keyboard, and then another one here, possibly keyboard. So um, since I didn't pop it out, I'm not sure exactly which is for what. There's also another little connector here, uh, JFP2, so that's likely for fingerprint reader. And I think that's pretty much it. All right. Anyways, um, I'm going to put the bottom cover back on. Uh, sorry I'm not like taking all the components out for you guys, um, but it is what it is. Customer just needs this back right away and just needed it um, real quick. So just line everything back up, pop it all back together. Okay. Click it all back down, and then we got to just put back the T5 or Torx 5 screws. All right, very simple. Grab that. All right. Other one. Hopefully the um, internal like components are about the same, so that way it'll just boot up just fine. Um, again, the customer just needed the SSD swapped over from the old one to basically get it working again otherwise we would have had to repair or replace the motherboard and the motherboard likely wasn't going to be repairable it looked like someone did a lot of work or opened up the computer and might have messed things up so that's why we went this route to be more sure that the computer will be working okay the old one was silver instead of this pinkish color um, the color shouldn't matter that's just the outside um, but as long as the hardware components are about the same, it should be good to go. All right. So I'll get these last few screws in. And that's pretty much it. Hopefully this video helped you guys out. If it did, make sure again to like, subscribe, share my channel with others so that they can learn how to upgrade and repair their devices as well. It helped you save a bunch of money. Again, please consider contributing a little to the channel. Every little bit helps and allows me to continue making these videos for a living. And yeah, that's pretty much it. We're just gonna power it up. I think I have to plug it in to charge it. Yeah, the battery seems like it might be dead. Um, but yeah, that's it. Thanks for watching and I'll see you all in the next one. All right, well, let me get the charger. Let's see what we got. Ouch. Oh, the laptop also comes with all this stuff apparently. Ouch, what is this? Laptop came with all these pieces, so it came with a wall plug, and it came with uh, the cable. So, kind of nice. All right. And here we're just gonna plug this in, and it also looks like a USB regular USB adapter, USB C to USB adapter. Okay. Pull this out. Unwrap this thing. All right. Let's see. Not much else. This is basically just going to show it's a brand new computer. Okay, so plug this and unplug this and plug this in. And let's see here. All right, let's see if it powers on now. All right, it's powering up. I guess I'll set this stuff aside for the customer. I did see it light up. I don't know if it's actually powering on. Come on. Power up. Huh. I hope this works because I actually have to head out real soon. Power up. I see the keyboard's lighting up. Keyboard's lighting up, but nothing else. Come on, let's grab it right here. Huh. And then, okay, caps lock lights on. I didn't disconnect the battery or anything, so it should just power up. Hmm. Come on. See the light here? 
Okay, it's showing a low battery light here, flashing orange. Okay, so it's probably gonna have to charge up a while before it will actually boot up. But anyways, that's pretty much it. You didn't come for this. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you all in the next one. Let's drop this spike.